Good morning and happy day 10. It is a very foggy morning and I'm actually going to get my teeth whitened this morning at my dentist's office. Um, excuse the <laughs> crazy hair and I just put a little bit of concealer on and like a little bit of bronzer so I didn't look dead because <laughs> that's the kind of morning it is. Um, I'm wearing that same American Eagle sweater but underneath I have this little cute top the eyelashes <laughs> all right gotta get going to the dentist and then i do have a lot of things to get done today so after the dentist i'll be busy busy told you it was foggy look at that crazy yeah. so she said this is what i started out as and between these two is what i ended up as Hey guys, so I'm about to go into Winco. Um, I don't think you can see, kind of. It was right next to my dentist's office, way closer than I thought. So I thought I'd just grab all the groceries now. Um, because of my whitening, which I think they turned out really good, I can't have anything that would stain my teeth for 48 hours. So definitely gonna make like a Caesar salad tonight, probably do the taquitos that I got at Costco last week. I'm just trying to clear out the fridge. I don't like repurchasing a ton of food um, to have in the fridge and freezer until we go through what we have. So I think I'm just gonna get some essentials. Like I need to get bread, milk, um, some shredded cheese, some, um, what else did I need? Some of like our drinks that need to get replenished, um, butter, cause I used up all the butter for baking. So yeah, nothing too crazy. Just gonna pick up a few things that I need. Um, for throughout the week and I'll take you along with you. So I will definitely share with you guys what I got grocery shopping. I got some things for the kids, um, Christmas little stocking and baskets that I'm creating. So I'll show you that too. But this Winco in Chandler had a fresh sushi bar. So I decided to pick up some spicy tuna rolls for lunch. I can't have the soy sauce just because I don't want it to stain my teeth that I just got done. But I am gonna have some of these plain. And they look really delicious. Oh, he's so happy. Look at this, look at this. This is what happens when we get home for the first time. <laughs> she does little spins. Are you scratching yourself on the... What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, you're so excited. <laughs> you're so funny. All right, guys. I'm home from grocery shopping at Winco. And I also went to Starbucks and got myself a tea. Um, a nice tea. I have to be careful with it so it doesn't stain my teeth. Um, I would have gotten coffee. I have like seriously a caffeine headache. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna start on some laundry and some stuff around the house. So got some Coke Zero. The orange vanilla flavor is amazing. If you haven't tried it and you like that kind of flavoring, I would definitely try this. Chris's energy drinks, like I showed you guys last time. These are the only ones he will drink. Like I said, I needed to get some shredded cheese. I got the Mexican blend for something I'm gonna be making this week. Got some more unsalted butter for baking, some bacon for Sunday brunch, some sliced bread. I get the, a lot of Winko's brand items are really great. Um, this bread included, it's so inexpensive. It's like, I think a dollar fifteen, something like that for a loaf. And this kind of bread, like the thick, hearty wheat bread usually is $3 other brands. Um, so yeah, really, really good. Love this. The boys love it as well. Bananas, some pre-made salads for lunches. And then I have some just like, um, bagged lettuce. I have some butter bliss lettuce and a Caesar kit eggs, milk or half gallon of milk, some creamer for Chris, our favorite popcorn. I got some of the kettle jalapeno chips, um, big thing of hot cocoa mix, some comparable to, um, Cheez-Its, the Winco brand, and then also some popcorn, like butter popcorn for the kids for movies. And then I have boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Also got a bag of this chicken fried rice. We've tried other um, family meals like this. They're like 10, five, 10 minute meals from this company before and they're really good and inexpensive. It's $4 for that entire bag, which is an entire meal for us. Okay, kids. Gavin and Legacy. <laughs> if you are watching and you want your Christmas surprises to be ruined, 
then that's the only reason you should keep watching. If not, fast forward two minutes. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> so I got some of these elf shaped sugar cookies to make probably with Gavin because Lexi will be coming to stay with us at some point um, during the holiday break, but I'm pretty sure we'll be making these before then. So I got some of these cute little sugar cookies. I love, I love these Pillsbury ready to bake cookies in the at Christmas time. It just like feels like Christmas when you make these. Anybody else? And they're just so easy. So I got some of those. I also got some of these Reese miniatures because I make my Reese cookies every year that my brother absolutely loves. So I figured I'd stock up now. Okay, so then all the rest of these items I got for the kids stocking slash Christmas basket. So I got these cute little um, chocolate boxes. One for Lexi and one for Gavin. I thought they were so cute. And then I also got some Sour Patch Kids that are holiday um, green and red. So I got two of those. I got one jelly belly pack for Gavin and one for Lexi. I just thought it was so cute that it has Minnie and Mickey and it's, um, yeah, this is like a clue as, as to future plans. And then I got this one only for Gavin's basket because I figured the kids could play it together. It's kind of like Bean Boozled, but it's with candy canes. So it says naughty or nice. There's 24 candy canes inside and they spin the wheel. Let's see what I get. I'm apparently bad at spinning the wheel. It doesn't spin very well. Okay, let's spin the wheel. So, like, see, it could be cherry or onion. Ew. Green apple or fish. Blue raspberry or dirty socks. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, they have to spin the wheel. Whatever color they get, they have to um, try it and see if they got a nice or a naughty candy cane. So, I just thought that was super cute and fun, fun to do on Christmas Day. And then, since... Gavin really hasn't been able to do the advent calendar so much with me because it's really more so my advent calendar because there's like jewelry and stuff in it. So I thought I would get him his own chocolate advent calendar. He's never had one. So I got him one. He's had, he's, he has a couple days to catch up on. I don't think he'll be upset about that. So I will show you guys him opening this later. And it just has a bunch of little milk chocolates in there. So yeah, he'll start doing the countdown with me too, the advent calendar. So these little guys, one of one or both will be going to my doctor. She collects these little toys, these little like pooper toys. <laughs> they like poop candy. It's hilarious. But I thought these were so freaking cute. A little um, gingerbread man and then a little reindeer. The reindeer is definitely my favorite. <laughs> So I'm going to check in her office to see if she has either of these yet. And if not, I'm going to give them to her for Christmas time. All right. So I'm going to start wrapping some presents, trying not to show anything. I'm also going to watch the night before Christmas, like a fighting jousting night. It's on Netflix. Has anyone else watched it? It looks kind of Hallmark movie looking. So I decided to do that. This intro looks very um, Twilight-ish. <laughs> How pretty. There's Lucy. I'm going to put up my garland from Kirkland's today, too. <laughs> Who's a good girl? Who's my good girl? She's a cuddle bug today. You a cuddle bug? You going to help me wrap presents? Yeah? Okay. So these little baskets were found at the Target dollar spot. They were $3. They kind of have a sweater material to them and they're these little buckets. Um, so I did one for Gavin, one for Lexi. I actually have to find her little fuzzy socks that I'm gonna put in here. Um, but obviously I kind of did a little bit of everything, kind of like a stocking stuffer, but instead I just put them in these baskets. So I, I've showed you guys like his cute little socks. I showed you the candy that I just got them. And then I have some little like cutesy tissues, um, sheet masks. They both love sheet masks. I got them some lip balms. I gave Lexi the min mini Mickey one. I gave Gavin some of these chapstick ones. Um, so just little, little goodies. Um, Lexi, I have like lotions, some makeup brushes cause I'm getting her, um, some other makeup items and there's a foundation in here and eye cream in here. Um, a little sleep mask. So they both kind of got a, some similar things, but also a few little different things too. And 
I'm gonna hang a little tag that says their name on the ends. I'm probably gonna leave these in the beauty room though because I don't want them to see and obviously since they're open, they'll be able to see them. If you can't have snow, bring the snow to you. <laughs> Flocked items like this get stuff all over the floor but it's nothing a vacuum can't um, help out with. And this garland, sorry, I'm just taking some off of the ornaments. Um, this garland's actually from Kirkland. I will see if they still have it online. I know they had it in store still. Um, and they also have a version with gray and white um, ornaments on it. I love just the pine cone details and all the berries and the different kinds of like spruce leaf that they try to emulate. I just really love it. So I've been working hard on the banister, you guys. I'm going to also film my Christmas home tour, at least part of it today, um, just depending on how fast I can get this done. So let me finish up this garland. This is my last one to put on the banister. And then I will show you guys a little sneak peek of how it looks before you see the Christmas home tour. I have to say these are the best invention ever, these decorative twist ties. So easy to hang the lights. Do you see them on the banister? They're not going to scratch the paint. They bend and twist, so they really secure your garland or lights. And Mama B actually got on me a couple packs of this for my house, and she had a few as well. It comes in different shades, like different colors. But I will see if I can link this down below for you. It, yeah, literally best thing ever. It has been so easy to hang my garland this way. If I look a little bit of a hot mess right now, it's for good reason. This is what I did today. Dentist, which you guys saw. Grocery shopping, come home, put it all away. Cleaned the kitchen and two bathrooms, our master bath and the half bath. Started wrapping presents, but didn't get very far on that. Finished the banister. Then that was a huge mess, so I had to vacuum all that up and get all that tidied up. Filmed my holiday um, slash Christmas home tour. And, oh, and then I put the garland up in the front. The lighted garland for the around the door frame, which you'll see in the, in the Christmas home tour as well. And made the boys lunches for tomorrow. And now I'm cooking dinner. It has been a crazy productive day. And I love those kind of days, but I'm also really freaking exhausted. <laughs> And then tonight we're going to do the tree trimming of our little family tree that's upstairs in the loft. And then Chris and I are going to finish watching White Christmas. Gavin has a lot of homework that he needs to get to as well. So um, be making sure he does that tonight too. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be the, my night. I'm making flaut, flautas, which is like a, just like a tortilla wrapped with chicken and cheese and vegetables in it and it's crunchy because you bake it in the oven. They're really good. So I'm making those, the chicken flautas, and I'm making a salad alongside that, which I'm about to start making the salad right now. Um, I forget who asked me, but someone asked me if I knew how to speak Spanish. Un poquito. Like I understand quite a bit, but I don't speak very much of it. And I wish I did. But I do understand a lot because my um, family's all from Spain. I'm Spanish Italian, but it's like three quarters <laughs> Spanish. So anyways, let me get back to doing dinner and I will talk to you guys probably later when we are at dinner so I can show you what the flautas look like and then probably at the tree trimming too. All right, this is what's gonna be in the salad tonight. I've got the butter bliss lettuce. I usually do romaine, but there's something going on with romaine again in, in the United States, so. I didn't want to risk it. Butter bliss lettuce. These are the tomatoes that I've been raving about, the Allegro tomatoes. They are so good. They're sweet, they don't have a ton of seeds in them. They're delicious. Gonna cut up a few peppers, some chickpeas, and some um, olives, yummy, yummy. I haven't tossed it in anything or put the spices in, but don't you just love a colorful salad? 
Got some yellow and red peppers in there, the tomatoes, olives, chickpeas, yummy. day 10. I still haven't told Gavin about his calendar. Oh, it's a Snickers. <laughs> it's an almond Snickers, I think. <laughs> Pure excitement. Gavin's going to do his advent calendar. Are you happy you have your own? Yeah, so you guys don't have to steal it. <laughs> what is it? Is it like a shape? I think this one is a choo-choo. Let me see. Choo choo for the chocolate. See. Oh, <laughs> I zoomed into your mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's a choo choo train. These are cool. I didn't know they were shapes. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It tastes like milk chocolate. Oh, that's good. Oh, now I'm excited that they're shapes. Mm -hmm. They're cooler. You know what number two is? Number two. Number two. Is mm, a wreath. Cute. Very cute. Mm -hmm. it tastes like jitter. This one is <gasps> true. Oh, can I see? Yep. Mm, thanks, I'm eating it. <laughs> you I have nine. <laughs> I knew it. Never trust a woman with your chocolate. <laughs> exactly. Show oh, the, the camera. A, a oh, <laughs> Too close. Hey! Oh, I good. promise I won't take it because it's not focusing. Else it's not focusing. Ew, this is way cuter than I thought it was gonna be. Can I see? It's my sack. Oh boy. Sack of toys. You would. Ooh, it's a um uh, a present. Can I see? <laughs> you can have only one since you're being a good boy. Wow. I'm not stealing all my chocolate. <laughs> Like your wife did. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even. Never okay, gonna... you're on eight? Uh, no, seven. Why am I always one ahead? Yeah, I'm never gonna trust you during Valentine's Day. I'm gonna steal the chocolate. Um, I won't really steal it unless it's Ferrero Rocher. A Santa it... hat? Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's gone. Okay, you still have two more. Oh, my gosh. And it's all milk chocolate, too. It's, far. it's a compass. Pretty. That one's very pretty. Is it a compass? It's not a compass. It's a star. It's a compass. It has the... Wow, we're here going to church. He oh, doesn't I never, even know what that is. <laughs> I never opened. Oh, I did open it. Okay, number nine. Number nine, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm finally right. Number nine. Some Uggs. <laughs> Those are ice skating. These are ice skates. Ice Uggs. 